With a combined population of just under 500, Riverdale and Pick City are separated by only a dam. Carissa Stinchcomb met with the Riverdale Pick City Ambulance Service to take a tour of their new much needed ambulance. Volunteers from the Riverdale Pick City Ambulance Service took pictures of their new ambulance, which was very needed. We have a large uh, coverage area. We cover part of McLean County and then we, part, we cover part of Mercer County as well. So on the Pick City side and then the Riverdale side. 15 people volunteer their time to help everyone in these counties. The station relies on donations to keep the service running and readily available to respond to calls. We receive very little in, in federal funding. So all the donations we can get are truly keep our ambulance service going. A unique thing for this ambulance service is this bunkhouse, which was donated. It allows them to have somebody here pretty much all the time so they can respond to calls quickly. Summer, um, we get a lot more 911s from campers and um, summer visitors, but we have a 24 hour coverage. We always have coverage. Sometimes the ambulance service has to travel long distances and their old ambulance wasn't doing the job. With the help of donations and an upcoming fundraiser, the station was able to purchase a new ambulance. They've been able to take transfers from to Minot, Bismarck, Williston, and those have helped immensely in the income that the ambulance has been able to raise. For KX News, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. The fundraiser is scheduled for Saturday, July 13th. After hearing about a rural ambulance service fundraising for a new vehicle so they can continue to save lives, it was our turn to give back today. The KX News team spent the afternoon in Riverdale talking and sharing lunch with the ambulance service. This great group of volunteers shared some incredible stories about their jobs. So thanks Riverdale Pick City Ambulance Service volunteers for all that you do. More ahead on KX News at 6. Does it